Which one? This one. This one? Mm -hmm. um, we just pushed it in here with a tractor. All right, so we've got a lot going on in the shop. This thing, I'll get to that after a while. Still working on the bibster, and uh, still got the fab cab. But the one thing I haven't introduced you to was this truck here. This is my new tow rig. Uh, and we've got some upgrades for it. And I got Kanan out here to help me do it. Are you trying to get on camera? All right, tell me what we got, bud. What we got here? Big tires. Big tires. What kind of truck is this? You know what kind of truck it is? Bomb goat truck. Bomb goat truck. Bomb goat. Bomb goat. Canaan, Canaan thinks it's a goat truck, so I'm gonna name it the goat. I guess mainly because of the ram. He was like, hey, "Why does this thing got goats everywhere?" So, 3500 Cummins heavy duty package. Uh, already put a leveling on it, so put a two and a half, three inch level on it. And we got some wheels and tires. Hoping, hoping it kind of sets this thing up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Those are huge. They're huge. Not huger than these. Okay, see if they're not. See if they're not. I don't know. I think they're huger than those. Look at those things. These are huge. They're pretty huge, ain't they? Yeah, they're like monster truck. Like monster truck. Yeah. It's almost as big as you, dude. Stand right there. Comes up your shoulder, don't it? Yep. So I went with uh, 35, 12, 50, 20s with a set of 20 inch um, black rhino Sierra wheels. Wanted something a little different than what you normally see out there. Not that these are super rare or anything, but um, yeah. Hopefully, I've kind of measured everything. Hopefully, it doesn't have a terrible amount of offset, thinking they're going to hang out, you know. Probably get four inches or something, which I'm fine with as long as it's not a ton. What you think, dude? You like the wheels? Yeah. Me too. All right, let's get some tools, okay? Yeah. Better get some tools to take the old wheels off and put the new wheels on. Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Keep going. You got to jack it up, dude. Got to keep going until the tire's in the air. Oh, put your weight into it. You need some help? No. You got it? I think I got it. Okay, okay you do that and I'll do this. Do this, okay? When you want to take a picture of me? We're doing video, dude. Doing a video? Yeah. I can, I'll watch you. Okay. On the camera. Camera. Okay. How did you get this thing out? All right. Dad, you got to say something. What do you want me to say? 
Whatever you say, want to say. Whatever I want to say? Yeah. Whatever you want to say. Yeah. Just twist this thing like this. glasses on for? To protect your eyes. Yeah, just in case what happens. If anything metal can get in or anything metal get, will get in your eyes. Yeah. Something flies in your eyes. Yep, something flies off this thing, can get in your eyeballs. And that wouldn't be good. And then you'll have to Go to the doctor every day. Every day? Yeah, you'd have to go to the doctor to get him, get him to get it out. With your eyeball, but sometimes they can't fix your eyes. And then what happens is they can't, they don't fix your eyes. And you can't see. So you want to- I can see perfect. You can see perfectly now. That's why you want to keep, that's why you want to- Keep these on. Yeah, you want to wear your safety glasses. So you just not use this anymore? Nope. You're dead. Alright, thanks. You know that one? You made it easier to take it out of the out of the white thing, huh? Yeah. That will be the easiest part. Alright. Now this is fun. This is fun? Mm -hmm. Alright, plug that. Thank you. Why are they called I don't know, that's a good question. They kind of look like a, kind of look like an acorn nut, maybe. They kind of look like a, your, size of your hand. Look nut. Look nut. I just stand that to what I give you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the tools. Okay, you get the tools. I lost my helper about two wheels in, which is about one wheel more than normal. So anyway, reveal. Turned out pretty nice. Let me give you a little tour around this thing. So obviously I went Cummins turbo diesel. You know, this is a tow rig with the heavy duty. So this one is the high output setup. Mega cab, which wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. I took either or, but the mega cab does kind of work out with the size of family that I've got. Man, look at the leg room in this thing. It's cool about the mega cab is there's actually room behind here. I can fit all kinds of stuff behind the seat if I need to for traveling. Anyway, nothing really too fancy to see. Just a nice clean truck. 47,000 miles on this thing. And really, knowing me, um, I'll put, I might put 40,000 miles on this thing in the next seven or eight years. Like I don't really drive that much, so. Wheels are black rhino alloy, hard alloy wheels. And I dig these things because it's got like a milled aluminum look in here. And then the rest of it is black powder coat. And not a crazy looking wheel, just nice, simple, clean setup, which is what I usually like. It's a 35, 12, 50, 20 by Nitto. And this tread pattern is the trail gap grapplers. They make several different treads I like these. I've got buddies of mine that run these. They're not terribly noisy and they look, they look pretty aggressive. The only thing I was really concerned about when buying these wheels and tires was the stick out. Didn't want too much stick out, but I'm pretty okay with that. It's not too bad. Uh, I mean, you're going to get the occasional rock chip, that sort of stuff. I mean, that's just part of it. And you kind of want to go aggressive like this, but it's a risk I'm willing to take.
All right, well, I think that's it for this episode. A um, couple more upgrades I might do on this thing. I might do the flip out steps at some point. Get rid of these bad boys, just do the flip out. And then maybe go with like a black, a black headlight. Not like a smoked headlight, like I want a clear lens, but the internals of it to be black. So you can see the factory ones. All this in here is chrome or like a silver color, which doesn't look bad. It looks good. But they also have a black uh, one that's from the factory. So this lens is clear, but there's black in here. I think that black with the black wheels and tires and the tint will really set the truck off. All right, well that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. Give you an update on the GOAT. And uh, more stuff coming. Gonna give you the update on this white car. We're searching for a name for that and I'll kind of tell you the plans on that thing. It's not gonna take away from the Bibster. Um, it's gonna be a group build, which means that I'll have lots of help and we don't plan on doing a ton. So that's coming up. New plans for this thing, if I can't get rid of it. And yeah, bibster work.